That sound, people living near the airport know all too well. Now Massport is taking some steps to try to reduce that noise. Well, over the past few years, there have been more and more noise complaints thanks to new navigation procedures. And as Paul Burton shows us, airport officials want neighbors to know they hear their concerns. This is one of the 52,000 jets that fly over us. Cindy Christensen says the airplane noise that's constantly above her home in Milton is unbearable. It goes over our homes, over our schools, over our parks. Noisy planes are a constant problem for many communities who live within the flight paths of Logan Airport. It's a situation where, uh, where people literally can't sleep. It starts around 4 or 5 in the morning, goes well past midnight. On Friday, Massport, along with the FAA, signed an agreement to reduce the noise of planes impacting those cities and towns. Congressman Stephen Lynch says they they better reduce the noise level or he'll file a lawsuit. Well, our challenge is either they fix it or we'll fix it. And, and our ability to fix it will be through the courts. A class action lawsuit uh, because there's, there's definitely uh, damage to people's health by the way they're running things. The FAA released a statement saying Massport has proposed several ideas for a test program with the FAA to better understand the implications of the flight concentrations and to study possible strategies to address the neighborhood concerns. A couple of areas they want to explore is to have more planes fly over the water and flying in and out of Logan at higher altitudes. Cindy says any improvement would make a difference. To be honest, I don't have a whole lot of hope. I'll, I'll allow there to be a little bit of hope because it's, this is a new action that they're willing to take, but we've been working hard for a long time. The study could take as long as 18 months before the FAA and Massport release their findings. In Milton, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.